Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be branded as a rumor topic because not all of this has been truly fully verified yet, but many people are definitely starting to believe it. It has caused so much conversation in so many different places already, and it appears to be a factory leak of Nintendo Switch 2 that reveals different details including the name of the console. And so that's what we're going to be speaking more on today. But before going forward, let me ask that if you do enjoy my content, to please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So this story started to break out last night, and it has spread to many different forums, Twitter, Reddit, Family Boards, Reset Era, but it all comes from this Chinese forum, Saraba First, and in there, there were things supposedly leaked from someone that's actually putting these Switch 2s together in the assembly line. So here on the Gaming Leaks and Rumors page, Ironlander99 sums up what happened on Famiboards. Switch successor is named Switch 2. This is according to information obtained by Famiboard user, forward backward, take it and the other information with a grain of salt. Yes, please take this with a grain of salt. It is a rumor. We are not 100% sure that this is legitimate. Everyone's talking about it. There may be very well be something to it. It does sort of feel like something like this may happen in the week of when we think the Switch 2 may get its first proper full reveal, but we do not know that. It could be someone just messing with us. But there are some reasons why people are believing it, and we will be getting into that, but continuing on here. Also, production has started, meaning a reveal could be this week. This is brand new info from a Chinese forum poster who didn't have an insider track record. Therefore, the following is strictly for fun and giggles. Yes, grain of salt, fun and giggles. Switch 2 production has started in somewhere in China, which I don't want to translate. 1,000 units per day, edit, this is one worker, not the whole line. Slightly larger than Switch 1, smaller bezel, black and white Joy-Con, slightly larger logo with two on the side. So, that's the information. But some of the reasons why people are taking this even more seriously is, one, we've seen leaks like this before on this forum, so there is that memory, even though it's a different poster with a different track record, but apparently, and I didn't see this for myself, but this is what people are saying, in the message board, this user provided imagery of their actual identification of their work at this factory. But it was then deleted quickly because, well, the Nintendo Ninjas would find this and they would lose their job. But then also, the post itself was deleted. Now, this would be done because if it's a legitimate leak, Nintendo would definitely be sending their ninjas to get rid of that page. So the moderators would delete it in fear of that. It does not necessarily mean it's what truly a leak, but they think it's at least worth deleting because it might be. So that's essentially all the information. We don't know for sure if it's real, but apparently there was some minor verification, but it doesn't truly mean 100% that this is a leak. That all said, looking at this information, the fact that Switch 2 has started production, that bodes well, and if leaks like this are already going to start to happen, then Nintendo kind of absolutely needs to reveal the console to beat the leaks, and if this is true, then it looks like they didn't beat the leaks. But we haven't seen any images yet, so that's that's a good sign for Nintendo, I guess, but hopefully the reveals this week. That That's basically what I'm saying, if this information is legitimate, and of course, we just want to see the console as soon as possible. But in terms of the other details, some people are thinking, oh, this doesn't make much sense because it says that they're making a thousand units per day. That's not going to be nearly enough consoles in six months. That would only be 180,000 units. But this is for one person, not for an entire factory. Also, Nintendo likely has more than one factory working on this. But it's also said that this console is slightly larger than the Switch 1 with a smaller bezel. So that black bar around the screen will be reduced more so. We have heard that it would be an 8 inch screen. So if it's only a little bit bigger than the Switch but the bezel is greatly reduced, I think that's going to be pretty nice. Now apparently the Joy-Cons are black and white, which there are so many different colored Joy-Cons I 
don't think there's really any problem with that and there could be more than one SKU so maybe there are different colored joy cons out there we did have the gray joy cons to launch the switch but also the neon blue and red joy cons as well but they also say it has a slightly larger logo with two on the side so to me i just read this as okay so the overall logo is a little bit more prominent and it just includes the two which basically tells us they're calling this Nintendo Switch 2. It's clear, it's obvious, it's what I think they should have been calling this console all this time, and, well, if this leak is legitimate, then that's what they're calling the console. I think this would be very good news for Nintendo because the messaging would be extra clear. People would understand that this is a next generation console. I have seen conversation that some people would be upset by this because it would make them think of what happened with the Wii U, where you just continue with the name brand and add some sort of letter or number to the side and then it falls flat. But I don't really think these situations are at all comparable. First off, the Wii had lost all momentum basically by 2010, even though they had games coming out in 2011, and the Wii U didn't release until the end of 2012, so there was just not a lot of momentum there. The Wii's big hook was all of this motion control gameplay, which turned out to be a little bit of a fad. Yes, it's still a mainstay in gaming, but it's not the primary form of gaming, so it wasn't something that was going to be consistent for Nintendo. So really, the brand of the Wii U was always meant to die. And the letter U does not clearly state that it's a next generation console. The number two clearly does, as it does for other pieces of hardware like iPhones or Playstations, numbers, people understand it's very clear there's not really anything left for interpretation there and the switch has tons of momentum still and unlike the wii the switch is not a lightning in a bottle situation the kind of allure the switch has is something that's going to continue people who just like playing games so i personally think this is a great idea i know some people are going to hope that this is fake and that there is going to be a more weird name and Maybe there will be. We don't know for sure that this is real, but I kind of hope it is because I definitely think they should call it Nintendo Switch 2. Now, there's been some talk about the Joy-Cons being black and white. I think this could potentially look really cool, especially if we do have those colored buttons that would really help them to stand out in a nice way. There'd be a very pretty contrast, I would say. And it would definitely help the Switch 2 to stand out compared to the Switch 1, so people would even more clearly understand this is a new console, bigger logo, different Joy-Cons, colored buttons, bigger screen, it'll clearly look different. So that's what I'm pulling for here, but there isn't any mention of colored buttons, so we shall see, but just because it wasn't mentioned doesn't mean it's not there. Something else that's been discussed about this factory leak is the kickstand. So with the base switch, it was just this little flap. With the OLED, it's more of a entire vertical flap that's more solid. It's been talked about that this flap for the Switch 2 has been hollowed out. It's still one longer flap like the OLED, so it has a bit of a better foundation, but it's not as thick. And it's even led to some speculations that it could even be used as a handle as well, harkening back to the Nintendo GameCube handle. This would be kind of fun if true. I'm not sure how necessary it would actually be, but hey, whenever I'm holding my Switch with one hand, if I had a handle instead of just holding it on the screen, I guess then that would kind of work. Now again, I'll say this for like the third, fourth, or fifth time, I'm not even sure. Take this with a grain of salt. It is a rumor. It is a rumor that a lot of people seem to believe, but it is still a rumor. So we shall see what actually happens, but I definitely like what's being discussed here, and it all seems very plausible. But what do you all think? Let me know in the comments below. This is Andres Restart. Thank you so much for listening and watching. And I'll see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.